Hey everyone, in this new series I'll be breaking down some of the Phillies top prospects. From now until opening day you will be seeing some prospect videos come out here and there with players I think might make a big impact on the ball club in the next year or so. The first prospect we will discuss is shortstop Bryson Stott. Stott was the Phillies first round pick back in 2019 and he has raked in the minor leagues ever since. He has climbed all the way up to AAA in 2021 and might have a chance to make the opening day roster in 2022. There is also a chance he might take over the starting shortstop job on opening day with Dieter Gregorius not playing great in 2021. In the minors in 2021, Stop posted a batting average of 299, an on-base percentage of 390, and an OPS of 876. Along with that batting line, he clobbered 16 home runs with 49 RBIs and 10 stolen bases. Stott is also an above average fielder posting a 979 fielding percentage with only 7 errors in 2021. Fielding won't matter too much however with how great of an impact Stott's bat is. Bryson Stott has a sweet swing with quick bat speed. His ability to hit for power and for contact will make a significant impact to the Phillies lineup. He has decent speed and can steal bases which the Phillies will need in the coming year. Him hitting from the left side is also a key point to how he fits in the Phillies lineup. The Phillies have mostly right-handers in their lineup with Gene Segura, Reese Hoskins, and JT Romuto. Adding the lefty Stott might add some bounds with other lefties such as Bryce Harper. I do believe that Bryson Stott can crack the opening day roster in 2022 if not win the starting shortstop job. He is a key piece to this franchise going forward and the Phillies need to make sure they do not mess him up. If the Phillies add Stott to this lineup along with a couple of free agents, the batting order will be pretty scary going forward. That is going to conclude the first Phillies prospect breakdown on the channel and I would like to thank everyone for watching. As always, leave a like and subscribe to the channel as well as leave a comment on what prospect you want to see in the next breakdown. Also, I want to thank you guys again for the recent support on my videos. We are so close to reaching 1000 views on my Eagles prospect video and we have gotten around 100 views on each of my last two Sixers videos. Thank you all for that. That is all I have for this video and I'll see you all in the next one.